The allotment came about fairly recently. I've only had it for a full year. This is my second year we're in now. And I was writing my dissertation, my final year at university, and all I was doing was either sat inside my house on my laptop or sat inside the library on the computers. And it was right near the end of the dissertation. Oh, it was all just getting a bit much. So I came for a walk. I thought what I'll do is I'll get outside, wander about, and just, you know, get some fresh air and a break. I was wandering around the local area. I wandered down across the field, somewhere where I walk all the time, and just noticed a small gate on the left, and I never noticed it before. So I wandered over, and there was a couple of guys stood there with shovels, uh, standing around having a chat. So I just wandered over and introduced myself, said hello, and just had a look over the fence. And I could see that it was an allotment patch, and I've never seen it. Um, didn't know it was here, so I just got talking to the guys, and one of them mentioned that as the council had opened a new plot, there was no waiting list anymore. And I thought, well, this could be something I'm into. I've grown vegetables before, just in pots in the garden. Came to the allotment about quarter past four, wandered in, saw an empty plot, and said, yep, I'll take it. That will be uh, my plot. And that evening, I went out to the garden centre, bought a big bag of potatoes, and just dug a massive trench and put them in. And that was how I started on my allotment journey, really. So I try and grow a wide range. I've got French beans, uh, runner beans. I grew broad beans earlier on in the year. I've got three different kinds of potatoes and I can't remember the names. Raspberries, strawberries, black currants, red currants, gooseberries, lots of rhubarb. I grew a lot of onions. I grew about 60, 65 onions this year, which have been great. And kale, spinach, pak choy. And my, my plot's not that big, but you can cram a lot of food in there. I think I wanted to put the vegetable patch in my garden because Fraser had an allotment and it all seemed very nice and fun and also it's really nice to eat fresh veg all the time. Um, my granddad grows vegetables but doesn't really give them to us so I thought it would be a nice idea and something fun to do as well. There's a wide kind of you know difference in ages a lot of people here are retired and then you go down into the kind of you know, older generations, then families, young families, and then people like myself who are fairly young by allotment standards and have, have picked up a plot. It's a great way to meet lots of different kinds of people over a shared interest. I don't think it's an old person's thing. And all my friends, like, you know, really admire it. And everyone starts a conversation with you once you mention that you grow vegetables or have an allotment. People are always really interested in what you grow, what it's like, how I got involved in it. Along with the increase in people being interested in cooking and baking, I think that you are getting a few more younger people getting involved in growing vegetables. And um, yeah, I think it's good to see. I think it's really calming. You know, if you're feeling stressed, you can just come out here. And it's a really nice thing to do on your own or with someone else. And it's just quite calming and peaceful. It gets you out of the house. Now that I've finished university and I'm in the world of work, I spend an hour every morning in the car and on the train getting to work. I spend eight hours a day inside in the office and then I'll just get inside my house, especially in the winter, it's really easy to just be locked inside all day. You definitely notice the difference. When you get outside for a, for a good few hours after work, you feel really good. You don't feel so tired, you don't feel so cooped up. So that's a definite benefit. The other obvious benefit is the amount of food you get. It tastes completely different to what you'd buy in a shop. You don't get beans as fresh as when, you know, five minutes down the road to the allotment, pick a big bowl full of beans, take them home, and that's, you know, it's on the, it's on the table within 10 minutes of being picked, and they just taste absolutely fantastic, and obviously they're really good for you. I had loads of onions here. I had carrots, which we picked earlier, the end of. I also had um, some spinach, which grew really fast. You kind of, you get a lot of it, but unfortunately, no one really eats it in our family. And then we've got beans, cucumber, and pumpkins which I thought the beans were a good idea because they're really space saving, but the pumpkins kind of took over a bit. <gasps> no, 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 no. <laughs> so last year was the um, first year I took on the allotment and every year they have an allotment awards evening. There's a few different categories and I won the best newcomer award, which was, you know, it was good. It was uh, kind of a bit like a validation of all the effort I'd put in. So this evening we're cooking a stew, a nice winter stew, um, from all the vegetables we've picked from the allotment. First of all we chopped up a load of onions, 
some potatoes, some carrots. I'm just currently chopping some beans. We put the onions and the beef. So we thought, you know, nothing better than a nice beef stew. So the onions and the beef and a little bit of garlic in the pan to cook. Once they've had a few minutes browning off, we added the uh, potatoes and the carrots, which have been chopped into smallish pieces. Then we added about 400 millilitres of stock and then a good glug of about 250 millilitres of wine. And we just put that on to simmer. So we added a couple of bay leaves, some basil and just some cracked black pepper. Let that all start cooking and stir it round. And when it's all done, we'll steam some kale and just serve it all up in a bottle. 